Oh my gosh, guys, what's going on? Oh my gosh, I just got destroyed. <laughs> just got warrior. Uh, um, I don't know what's going on. Um, today I just kind of want to make a video. I don't know, uh, I think I'm going to title it like, Where the Money's At or something like that. And, uh, I just kind of want to make this video to like, explain, uh, like, essentially where, was, where the money's at, you know, uh, with YouTube and stuff like that, because a lot of people think you make, like, a ton of, like, money off of views and that kind of stuff, like, $10 per thousand views, that is not true whatsoever, like, you do not make that, you don't make anything close to that, you make, like, a dollar or, like, a dollar and a half if you're lucky, like, and, to be honest, like, I think, I think the mo- what just happened? Oh, my TV just went black, that's weird. Um, uh, pretty much, like, the most that you could get, I think, or, like, the most that I've heard of, like, any of my friends getting is, like, $3 per thousand views, and that's, like, really, really generous from some companies. And, um, I mean, it's just really uncommon for that kind of stuff to happen. So, people are just like, oh, well, then how are all these YouTubers really, really rich? Um, well, the reason they're really, really rich is because they rely on, um, stuff like apparel and picture packs and... Uh, you know, whatever it is, like, just other sources of, like, income, essentially. And they don't, they don't necessarily rely on just YouTube views. I mean, YouTube views, yeah, it, it does contribute a ton to, like, your overall income, I guess, for YouTube. But if you're a YouTuber, your real money is, like, in uh, apparel and just kind of, like, not, like, I don't know, not YouTube-related things. Um... That's just where you're gonna make the most money because YouTube they just they take so much of the money and um, especially like another pe like another thing um, people they use like Spreadshirt and stuff like that and um, Spreadshirt's great but like they're kind of the same way they take a ton of your money and you can charge I'm pretty sure you could charge like twenty three dollars for a shirt and only make like a dollar on it or something crazy like that and. Uh, that's why you see, like, everybody who has a Spreadshirt, that's why you see them, like, charging, like, a pretty good amount for a shirt. Because, you know, they want to make a profit on it. And, you know, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of weird. So, um, that's what's kind of, like, inspired companies like, uh, EGL, or ELG? No, EGL. And that stands for, like, Electronic Gamers League, I don't know. It's kind of, like, a weird name, but, uh, basically, for those of you who don't know, they're the company that, uh, that basically they they make like phases shirts. They make a ton of like YouTubers, and teams like shirts and like their apparel stuff. And they basically they come up with the entire like they basically made the entire phase store, and you know other people that use them. Like that just that kind of style of website is uh, that belongs to EGL or whatever, and so. Um, the reason why people like FaZe, or teams like FaZe, the reason they go to those people is because they can make so much bigger of a profit on that than they could from, like, Spreadshirt or something like that. So, they can have, like, kind of, they can have, like, less, like, they can have lower prices than Spreadshirt, and at the same time making way more money than they would be with Spreadshirt. So, you know, of course they're going to go with that. Like, any normal human being would do that. And for those of you who are going to be like, oh, it's, it's not about the money, well, if you think about it, it is about the money, you know, like... I'm pretty sure every single one of you, if you guys worked really, really hard and you got, like, that kind of an opportunity, you could make that kind of money off of it, you would all make that kind of money off of it because, like, you're just stupid to not do that. Um, anyway, so, apparel from, you know, there and that kind of stuff, that is a major thing. It's like, it's just like a major sort of income for, um, teams like FaZe and just really anybody and... People like Rain and Apex, those guys, they make, I don't, I kind of think they make even more, because they have more, like, you know, like, fans that are, like, attached to their personality, if that makes sense, and, uh, so there might be, like, phases a team, they don't really have, like, a personality that people can connect with, they're just kind of like a team, so, individual people that, like, viewers can connect with are, like, generally going to sell more. Gosh, I just got dicked. Um, we're gonna generally sell more of like apparel than anybody else. Um, so, another way you can make money is live streaming. Live streaming is a huge thing. Like, the reason why FaZe and everybody like them, the reason why they're going and doing all those live stream things, like, a lot of people are just like, oh, it's, it's 
just because they want to bring us more content. Like, no, they want to make more money. And quite frankly, they can make a ton of money from the MLG partnership. And they can have, like, ex exclusivity or something like that. Exclusivity or whatever. They're exclusively on the website. And, um, you know, that's just that's something special for them. That makes them a lot of money. Uh, pretty, I mean, pretty sure it makes them more than Twitch does. Uh, but, and again, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's why it is, because, like, I don't know why they would switch to MLG if they're already partnered with Twitch. Or maybe it makes them less money, but it helps them in another way, like, I, I have no idea, maybe, like, getting into tournaments or something, just random things, but, um, yeah. I'm really suck in this game. I'm just doing well. Actually, never mind. No, I'm not. I'm in third place. Guys, mark this day on the calendar. I'm actually doing a good free roll. Um. Anyway, so that just kind of sums that up for like money and everything like that, and um, you know, that's why you see like Rain, I think, uh, he's the guy in phase, if you guys don't know, and he basically, he like schedules and coordinates uh, like people for, to like go and live stream on the, uh, the phase like team live stream uh, URL thing, and um, so that way they can just constantly like have like like I don't know they can build kind of like some consistency with their live streaming times and basically have a place where if fans want to see phase right then and then or right there and then live and there, they can just boom just go type in that mlg.tv slash phase and then they can just find them and you know they can just watch and then phase can make bank uh, so that's kind of how that goes and you know that's kind of that's really those two the apparel and the uh, the flipping what you call live streaming. Those are like really the like kind of the two huge ways to make money um, as opposed to YouTube. And you know, that's kind of it for that. Um, also, picture packs. I will address that. Um, I think the percentage that you make off of a picture pack. Like, like basically to upload a picture pack to the Xbox Live Marketplace, mar eh, Xbox Live Marketplace, you have to be uh, pretty sure you have to be like a registered Microsoft developer, and so um, people like Phase, they'll generally have their uh, they'll have their picture packs like put on the marketplace by people like MLG and stuff like that, and um, that's how a good amount of teams do it. There's also a company called Console Kings, which uh, because like SB Travis or whatever, he used to co-lead SB. Um, he or he actually he owns that company and he makes quite a lot of money off of that. Um, pretty smart to do that. And um, you know, I don't know, he makes bank. And I think it's like I almost want to say it's like 60% of the amount sold you get to keep or something like that or like. So like if you make uh, ten dollar or if you sell ten packs for a dollar a piece, you get six bucks or something like that. I don't know. It's some weird number, um, but it's it's pretty generous. So you can make a lot of money off that. And there's Burn. What up, Burn? Um. Anyway, so that's kind of that for that. I'm gonna go try and take a shot. Hopefully I can hit one. If I can't, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in a second. Alright guys, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna throw in a shot that I hit the other day. I was gonna kinda keep it a secret because I'm gonna use it in my episode. But, uh, you know, I'm just gonna throw it in anyway because I want you guys to see it. It's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. This is kind of a long video, but, um, you know, let me know if it was kind of, like, helpful or something. I don't know, some people, they're, they're just like, they've no idea, like, <laughs> well, I'll hear people talking to other people about all this YouTube stuff and they have absolutely, like, they think they're right, but they're completely wrong. Which be like, yeah, dude, Face makes like fifteen dollars per thousand views. It's like, no, they don't. They don't make anything close to it. But um, anyway, so I hope this helped kind of clarify a lot of things that maybe you guys were wondering. I don't even know. I just kind of made the video. Just kind of thought of it and made it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, it helped you out. And um, yeah, talk to you guys later. Peace. Stop saying no competition. Oh my god, my god, my god, my god, my god, my god. I fell. Oh, that was nice. I can run it, man.
You are oh my. Waiting orders. You actually? What'd you hit? Shut the fuck up. He ain't hit shit. Oh! Uh, oh, my god. He actually oh my hit. God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, he was dissing. Search and destroy. These niggas ain't loyal. How was your reaction like that? For what the fuck? I would be flipping shit. I've never heard the window tall. I've never.